Welcome to this issue of CCC Trends. As we head into the final months of 2019, we all begin to ask, what can we expect in 2020? In Crash Course 2019, we talked about the need to rethink the long accepted tenets or established truths, like I own my car, I drive my car, and I insure my car. All are being challenged as ride sharing, ride hailing, vehicle autonomy, telematics, AI, 3D printing, and more are bringing change to personal mobility and the industries that have traditionally supported it. And while there was no single pivotal moment yet in 2019 that marked a significant shift in personal mobility or in the auto insurance and collision repair industries, the movement forward continues. So let's look first at how vehicle ownership is changing. New vehicle sales are slowing, with year-to-date sales down 1.6% from 2018, but growth in used vehicle sales is expected to see roughly a 2% gain over last year. New vehicle affordability remains a key concern as more technology, the impact of tariffs, and a preference for light trucks and higher trim levels continue to drive up the average MSRP beyond what the average American can afford. Yet despite analyst forecasts projecting further slowdown in new vehicle sales in the coming years, individually owned vehicles remain the primary method of mobility in the U.S. As of 2017, 86% of individuals in the U.S. used a private passenger vehicle as their primary means of transportation to work. Data from the 2017 National Household Travel Survey shows an increase in both the percent of households with three or more vehicles and the overall average number of vehicles per household. Growth in miles driven has also registered stronger growth than what we saw in 2018, with latest data showing miles driven growth of 0.8% for the 12 months ending July of 2019. And yet, there is other data that shows that people are taking fewer daily trips due in part to growth in e-commerce and a smaller share of annual person trips for shopping and errands. So while there's some data suggesting we may be seeing moderate slowdown in miles driven by private passenger vehicles, growth in commercial miles driven appears to remain strong. The U.S. Federal Reserve's Truck Tonnage Index reached a new peak in July of 2019, and the U.S. Department of Transportation continues to project growth in freight of 18 billion tons from 2015 to bump up to 25.3 billion tons by 2045. Finally, ride-hailing companies like Uber and Lyft are starting to see slower rates of growth, and proposed changes to the status of their drivers could drive up their costs further, potentially even making their services less attractive. The California legislature approved in September of 2019 Assembly Bill 5 that, when ratified by the governor, would go into effect January 1st of 2020 and would grant gig workers benefits such as disability, workers' comp, and other benefits currently not available to their drivers that are considered independent contractors. So what is the downstream impact to auto accident and claim frequency, and how will that drive demand for insurers and repairs in the coming year? Data from ISS Fast Track reports for private passenger auto insurance have shown that the number of claims per 100 insured vehicles has been trending down over the last several quarters. CCC had also been tracking a decline in claim counts, but in Q3 of 2019, we saw claim counts finally increase over 1%, essentially resulting in a year-to-date change of zero. Total loss frequency remains elevated, gaining another 0.5% of claim volume from the prior year. And with four consecutive years of new vehicle sales of 17 million plus, younger vehicles are accounting for a higher share of both total loss and repairable volume. Consumer preference for light trucks is also reflected in both volume share and repair costs. As more choose higher cost vehicles, the repair cost increases as well. Finally, growing vehicle complexity is driving up part replacements, supplement frequency in both count and amount, and growth in fees for things like scanning, which often roll up to the miscellaneous percent of total repair cost. With claim mix continuing to shift to newer, more expensive vehicles with greater vehicle complexity, the industry can expect further growth in repair costs, total loss frequency, and total loss costs in the near term. In fact, we expect overall claim costs to rise by as much as 5.5% over the next two years, after seeing increases of only about 4% annually in prior years. So buckle up, let's get ready for 2020. Thank you for joining us for this issue of CCC Trends.